Yo, Cat Attack Podcast for myself, Daps. Um, guys, keep liking, subscribing, sharing. This is the first podcast of the year. Um, not got anyone special. No, I'm, I'm turning around. <laughs> no, but guys, before we get into that, keep liking, subscribing, sharing, all of that stuff. You know, we're just going to follow on from all the guests that we've had over the last year, two years, three years, four years. It's come up to five years since I've been doing this pod. I know. Time, man. It's a stint. Yeah. So, you know, guys, you really know what it is. We get whoever we get on, have good conversations, and we're going to kick off 2022 with um, another great one. So um, here with me today, we have Brentford midfielder, Premier League midfielder, Shandon Baptiste. Yes, yes, no, yes. There's no applause here. Just, just. Yeah, we give our own ones. We give our own ones. Oh, he's got, he's got character. Yeah, yeah we give our own Love ones. Love a bit of character. But um, no, thanks for coming, man. No, it's all good, man. I'm glad to be here. Um, you can put that down a bit if, if you want. Nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so obviously, you know, maiden year in in um, Premier League. And first of all, how are you? I'm good, man. You know, feeling good, feeling fit playing so mm. that's what all, that's all any player wants so yeah i'm happy man um when i asked um our mutual mk yeah. to reach out to you to be honest i didn't think you'd come on because i thought it was going to be one of them ones where he's big time now no 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 Premier never League. that no no when it's when it's championship <laughs> when it's championship yeah, yeah, come, yeah. Come, I'll come, I'll come. <laughs> once it's the Premier league it's like nah but are you more aware of that like, media stuff like that or speaking once you hit the Premier league yeah, kind of. But mm. I think I've never been a person to just speak out like that anyways. I'm just like to myself, laid back. Like if someone asks me to do things, um, I always do it. Like I ain't going to change who I am just because um, we're in the Premier League or anything. So mm. yeah, man. But I think you just kind of got to be mindful what you say because even now being in the Premier League, like at the training ground, there's so much media stuff that you got to do. Then yeah. in the champ, like there's... I say a quarter of what you got to do. You got so many different outlets from around the world um, coming and trying to do interviews. Like the other day, I did an interview for the Premier League for it to be broadcasted in, in Los Angeles mm. and in the Championship. That would I think anyone in Los Angeles knows who yeah. we are in it. So it's it's a lot, but it's it's good at the same time because you get the exposure yeah. as well. How much of your so let's say you train? You know, mm. How long is your training sessions in the morning? Depends, like the actual session. So if we're uh, so just a normal week, yeah. we've got a game Saturday, Saturday. Mm. We train on the Monday because it's second day recovery. Mm. It will be kind of short for the players that started, but on the Tuesday for everyone training, I say maybe an hour and a half. And then after that, it's not just straight go home, is it? It's, do you, is that when you have to do all your media stuff? And yeah, 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 yeah. But obviously, sometimes it's just specific mm. players. Um, so obviously, because we're a smaller club mm. in terms of all the Premier League clubs I think the big names of your team yeah. kind of do a lot of the 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 media work so every day's Ivan Tony yeah every day's <laughs> Ivan Tony still but like it's deserved in it because he's yeah. doing what he's doing but mm. um, apart from that if you ain't got no media stuff bro you can finish training and go yard like mm. it's that easy like normally I would say if anyone asks me what's our days like, I just say we're in at 9.15 mm. and if you wanted to you could be gone home at 12. Yeah. Have, have your sessions changed though? Like, So let's say championship, you train, you come in at nine, you can leave by 12. And did you notice that we're in the prem and the sessions changed a bit? Not the content of the sessions, but just like they're on us because like in a champ, you would have a game mm. midweek, but now you're, you've got so much free time that yeah. it's like every session's got to be banged on it and the intensity has got to be there because you, you it's not a game mm -hmm. obviously a game and training is two different things so you got to try get that match intensity in training so yeah. it's just they're just on us all yeah. the all the time has it hit you yet that you're a Premier League player not really I ain't gonna lie like I, I, I don't know it's weird like the other day I was just sitting there I was like right like because obviously I think when I played Man City I think I played as many games in the championship that I've now done in the Premier League and yeah. it, I think I was like rah like that's crazy to think that mm. I've done um, I played I think I played 13 games in the champ and I've now played 30 games in the Premier League so to be able to say that is a is a crazy feeling but yeah. 
I think once the season's over, um, I think it really is sinking that, yeah, you've just done a Premier League season, you've just played in Premier League, you played how many games and yeah. well, it's a big achievement, man. It must be hard to just kind of actually get the time to just sit back and actually take it in because games are coming thick and fast and, thick and, fast, and you're man. playing. Yeah. And, and you're playing, man. So, you know, I'm I'm just happy for you, man. I and sure, I man. love seeing like a good a good story. Nah, and, you. you know, what a lot of people might not know about you is that you didn't just show up in events. Mm. You know, you had to go and do your, your stints in conference yeah, and everywhere. what what not. But what I wanted to say about that was when you was going to the conference and on loan to Hampton and Richmond, mm-hmm. did you did you always have it in you that you knew that you would be in the Prem? Or was it a thing of, do you know what? I'm just playing ball, we'll just see how it goes. Mm. Nah, I think, I, I always said to myself, is Prem is where I wanted to make it. And I always had belief that I would make it yeah. to this point. Obviously, if I could have went from one point to the Premier League, it would have mm. been better. But yeah. obviously I've had to go round into different places and stuff. But every place I've went to, I've just tried to take what I can from it mm. and add that to my game and just try to excel in in that way. And like, Going to a conference was a big eye opener. It kind of taught me what playing for three points really is because man, them down there, they're paying for their mortgages bro, and like everything. Yeah. Man, are going going to games. We're getting back. I think we played Truro one time. Oh, flipping! Bro, up. you know how far that yeah, is. Yeah, flipping yeah. Up. I think obviously we've travelled on the day. The game's finished. It was a night game. The game's finished at uh, ten. We've left at eleven. I don't think I don't think we got back till maybe two two thirty. I'm hearing guys say they're getting up at six to go to work. Go to work, yeah. Like, that's real commitment. But I had the day off because yeah. obviously I was with Oxford, so I had the day off. So I'm here going, yeah, you know, I'm yeah. going to sleep. Like, it's calm. And these men are saying, yeah, I've got work in the morning. So it kind of just showed me. Yeah, that's, I think people don't realise that when it comes to non-league. I think a lot of people who haven't played, they look at, if you're not in between Prem and League 2, then you're not really mm-hmm. grafting mm-hmm. or you're not yeah, really exactly. you know, putting in that much time. Mm-hmm. But bruh, it's a lot of hours. Oh, like, hours, man. And sometimes it, it can seem as if it, there's, you know, no reward. Facts. Do you get what Facts. I'm saying? So when you're going on them long away journey, did you win? Yeah, one, two. Oh, yeah, cool, yeah, cool, yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. cool, so cool. It was, cool. It so when you, when you don't win, and you've got to get up for exactly, work the next man. day and then training it. Mate, it's a... It seems it's long, a, man. So that's, that's where I'm, I'm kind of at with it now, man, in regards to, it gets harder and harder to train now. It gets it gets so hard, but no, you know what it is? It's harder to get there. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Once, yeah. I'm once there, you're there, yeah, you're on it. Once it? I'm there, I'm, I'm cool and everything, but, but when, I'm, keeps sitting, you going, when I'm sitting at home, what you say? What keeps you doing it? I love it, man. You just love playing ball. Bro, I, I absolutely love it. And no matter, you know what? Sorry, no matter what I, how, you know, how old I get or whatever, I'm going to miss, you know, there's no feeling like a match day. Nah, first. There's there's nothing yeah, like first. it, no matter what level. So I could play in front of 10,000, I mm. could play in front of 1,000, 500, whatever. There's just no feeling mm, when you same. get to the ground, the music's playing mm. and, you know, you're, we're out walking on the, on the grass and see the away fans and, mate, there's absolutely nothing like oh, it. for real. And I absolutely love that. Plus the banner. I don't yeah, think there's any yeah, banner, yeah. like football banner. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? There's, there's nothing that's, like it, man. That's what, like, people always say to me, like, what is it? Is it different than Prem? And I'm like, nah, bro. It's just like, it's just a, a, a bigger scale, but every league, every team that you're in is all the same, bro. You got the man them that crack jokes, you got people that are, are kind of busy, mm. people that are on it, but bro, at every level, it's, it's all the same. Just because you're in the Premier League, it doesn't mean that every man is just yeah. mad professional, this and that, mm. don't get me wrong. The professionalism is there, but bro, it's it's all the same, man. At Brentford, who's who's like the Joker, Ivan? Really? Yeah, yeah Ivan. You know, what's so bad. Yeah, Ivan <laughs> comes across like he's just so like. I think it's because of the way he plays. Like you don't want it. Mm. Like me as a defender, I, I wouldn't want it against. Yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's long, like, and he just looks like he's ready to, to war. Like even, against Villa the other mm-hmm. day, I'm pretty sure he knows Ezri Konsa. Like surely, I'm, yeah. yeah I'm, as sure was even, oh no, I don't, I don't think they couldn't have been at Brentford's game, but I'm nah. pretty sure that they know each other. But you would never think that. Nah, exactly. They exactly. were just nah, going bro, every defender, at it, mate, and every defender they play uh, come up against him. Like I had one that plays at QPR, 
and he said he didn't like it. Yeah, like, man. It's, I could just imagine. But he's just one of those people. Once he gets on the pitch, he just switches on, and it's about the game and it. But off it, he's just banter, yeah. cracking jokes, and that. So actually, because obviously I watch a lot of football, mm-hmm. and when I was watching Champ, even before he um made started making yeah, headlines, yeah, maybe, yeah, I was saying Ivan Tony is is the one. Then I didn't like him for a bit because I tried do Ben White dirty. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to do Ben White <laughs> dirty, and I said, "Nah, he's nah, just what? My nine. We're gonna get, we're gonna yeah, get there. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're, 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 we'll get that there. on the line still. Yeah, we're, we're, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. When he did the old Ben White thing, obviously, yeah, I'm, I'm joking. But I didn't like him. Mm. Yeah, he just looks like a handful. But yeah, back yeah. to you, anyway. Mm-hmm. What was it? Um, because when I talked to MK about your time at Hampton and Richmond, he said how when you came after a few sessions, he was like. Why is this guy not playing at Oxford? Mm. Uh, this guy, he knows how to play football. Yeah, right? okay, yeah. That's how he talks about this guy yeah. can play football. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, this guy knows how to play Why is he not playing at Oxford? And then he just said how, I think you went back to Oxford. Did you get injured before, before you went to Oxford? Uh, that was before I went to Hampton though. So oh, that was before? I, yeah, yeah. When, mm. I, when I, so I went to Hampton, I had did my shoulder, then went to Hampton and then, I went back to Oxford, started playing. Mm. Then I had a, a big injury. Then that's when I did my, yeah, my yeah, knee. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And he said, oh yeah, then you went Hampton. Mm-hmm. He said, when you went back to Oxford, he said, he don't know where it was, but you just went on a on a mad one mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. that pre-season. And he was just like, what kind of, like, what's happened? And, and I told him, I'm going to ask you, like, what was it that clicked? Do, do, do you know, or do you remember that moment? Yeah, where, yeah, no, I do. Where you just started... Like, what, did, it, did it actually feel like that? Like you went back and you just hit. Nah, bro. This is like there was two things that I told myself. Um, in that when that season finished in that summer, mm. the first thing, no disrespect to, um, the level in terms of conference and lower, mm. but I said to myself, I never want to go back there mm. ever again. I never want to play that level of football because one, that's not my style. Yeah. Two, yeah, it just doesn't suit me as a player because. My neck was hurting every game because I was watching it go over <laughs> like this. Bro, like it was long. So I said to myself, I'm never going back there again. And then two, I just said to myself, bro, you're good enough to play in that Oxford team. So just go and show people mm. or show the manager that. Yeah. And every training session, I would remind myself of those two things. And from it just went from one week to one month to... Yeah playing consistently and obviously I think if I didn't get the two injuries that I got that season I feel as though I would have moved in the summer because mm. I had a coach there called Sean Derry he's now um, oh the QPR one yeah QPR mm. like I don't know I don't know why but like from the first session he saw me like mm. he just liked me and he would just talk to me constantly and just encourage me and just one of those people that are kind of like a mentor yeah and that one, one training session, he said to me, he's like, I don't want to see you here at the end of the season. Mm. Like, if you're here at the end of the season, I'm going to be angry because, like, you shouldn't be here. The ability yeah. you got, you should be um, Those are the other places. Need, man. That's what I'm saying. It's and like, I just want to keep you. Yeah, there, exactly. Man. But, like, you, that has just fed me confidence and I was doing my thing. And then, obviously, I did my shoulder, mm. came back. And then, literally, my first game back, I did, ironically, I did my ACL against Brentford. So, it was just like... It was hard to take, but yeah, man, those are two things that I told myself just to, that kind of clicked in my head and yeah. what allowed me to go in and um, have that good season, well, breakthrough season, shall I say. Yeah, and obviously, you know, from Oxford, you then went on to, to Brentford, but what I, what I did want to say, in fact, first, before I get there, mm-hmm. how much of Brentford being interested in you signing do you remember? So, so when I did my ACL against them, mm. My agent said to me, like, these guys have been watching you. So yeah. this is a great chance to just showcase yourself and, and show them what you can do, especially against one of their their teams. So I was like, you know what, cool. Um, mm. So the manager said to me, yeah, I'm going to bring you in at 60. So I was like, cool, 30 minutes, do what I can do. Literally, I come on the pitch. Uh, uh, first thing I do is the left back gets it. Gives it back to me. I tell you one nice switch out to the to the uh, winger. So I'm like, yeah, I'm on it. Yeah. yeah, I'm here. Second thing, 
the ball's in the air. I've went to do a Cruyff turn as the ball's come down. Mm-hmm. Do my ACL. I was like, oh, shit. Um, oh, shit, can I say that? Sorry. Um, no, no, you, listen, it's all say, good. Say yeah, what you're yeah, saying, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's come down, I've done that. Um, speaking to my agent, I was like, yeah, man, like the, 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 what do you call them? The chairman or mm. whoever deals with transfers and stuff was like, yeah, they was really liking you. So that kind of just put me in a bad mood. What are you more. thinking? You know what? That's like, me done. Yeah, yeah, literally, I was like, bro, this is never going to happen again. Mm. Like, because you know what people say, when they have long term injuries, yeah. it takes them a long time to come back and try to, and hit that heights that mm-hmm. they was doing. So I was just like, bro, what am I going to do? And then, so if someone said to me right then, mm. you know what? You're going to do your ACL against Brentford and a, a year later in that same month that you did it, they're going to sign you. Mm. I would say, bro, stop lying, man. Stop capping, bro. And it's 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 a dark place with them bro, injuries as well. dark, man. dark place, mm. man, because there's so much going through your head and that was my first long-term injury. So I was yeah. just like, what am I going to do? What's going to happen? Like, I was I was about to get that big, big move. Because when you're in League 2, League 1, Conference, whatever, I think, Getting that move to the championship or Premier League is one financial mm, life changing. Yeah, life changing. And two, it opens so many new doors. Mm. And I'm like, bro, I was literally the doors here. Yeah. I was here. Like, I'm about to walk through it. So yeah, man. Dark place, dark place. Oh, flipping out, man. Yeah. I do not miss those days bro. at all with the with the injuries and you know, but obviously. They ended up signing you, mm-hmm. and um, you know when you finally signed them. Yeah, going, man. man. Oh, big, big moment, man. Like yeah. when I told my, so I would say the story is funny because I was just chilling, literally like this with my boy, mm. watching. I think he was watching a game. Yeah. As soon I've walked out his door, as soon as I've walked out the door, I get a phone call from my manager. He's like, manager oh, at Oxford. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. like. Yeah, don't come in tomorrow. Um, Brentford have just paid money for you, and because I moved with Tariq Fosu, mm. um, they were like, "Yeah, he just, they've just paid money for you and Tariq." Wait, 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 can I just say, yeah, Tariq, yeah, I've been asking and DMing this guy. Mm. I don't know him from anywhere. No, I d- we've got mutuals. So. Yeah, and he's 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 doing just the silent thing. <laughs> so I'm calling him out because he will hear this. He has to come and sit on this couch. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. Good. how was he doing? Because yeah, he's yeah, good. He's, well. He just did an injured um, injury. Yeah, he's been out for his hamstring. So I think he's got maybe a month, month and a half. Oh, his hamstring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I thought. You, I thought he had a bigger injury than that. Because he had a he had an up on it. Oh, um, so it was a bad hamstring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he had to get yeah, he had oh, to get okay, it repaired. Okay, okay. But I think mm. he got maybe a month and a half, two months left. So okay, working hard every day to come back, man. Okay, is he the quickest? Nah, Rico or Brian and Bremo quickest. Rico. Rico. If you see in Prem games, like when he turns on, there's one thing like when the ball goes, he it's kind of like he puts on the overdrive mm. and he just starts breezing down. Like yeah. I don't, any man is not getting past past him when he puts on that overdrive. Mm. But probably yeah, them two. But yeah, so so go but, back. So um, you got the call. Don't come in. Yeah, don't come in. Yeah, you two. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm moving. And then when I went home, like, I told my my mom, my sister, man, and they were just happy. Like it was a big big moment man like it's just all that hard work that I did over that year mm. kind of just paid off and yeah man, it was it was a sick moment man so first day you walk into Brentford like first training session did you notice the the level straight away yeah man and the worst thing is yeah is they was they was third so we was we was also a second in league one they were third. So, you know, like sometimes you, you move to a team. In the summer, you move to a brand new team. So, you've got six weeks or pre-season mm. to mm. show yourself and get in the oh, team. Yeah, you went in Jan, didn't yeah. yeah. These men are third in the champ going into a Premier League. And realistically, the top five teams in the championship can play in a Prem. Yeah. So, it was like, rah. Like, and obviously, Saeed Ben Rama um, mm. was doing his thing then. And like, I was like, rah. When I was at Oxford, I was like, this guy's fake. Mm. Yeah, yeah, this guy's dirty. Mm. And when I actually seeing him, I was like, fake, man, he's the real deal. Yeah. And like, 
but every man is the real deal. Like at mm-hmm. League One, League Two, you get a few players that are the real deal and the rest are kind of either getting there or dropping off or in between and stuff. But every man is proper, like is good. They can, what they're good at, they do at the highest of their ability. Yeah. So it was tough for the first week to adjust to it. But after that, after a few training sessions, man, you, you're there. You're doing your, I'm um, imposing myself on in training sessions and showing what I can do. But yeah, it was it was tough to start off with. Did you go home and do the big sleep after that first? Bro, <laughs> bro I was in a hotel, yeah. That sleep was so sweet, yeah. <laughs> nah, I was so buzzed after that first session. Because we do, uh, they do a 1K test, which is 10 lengths of the pitch yeah. and see how quick you can do it. So a good a good time for that is free I'll say three fifteen. But three fifteen you're you're like you're gonna feel like you're sick, like yeah. you're on the floor, sprawl out everything. There's a guy at, at Brentford um that does it in two fifty nine. Huh? That exactly player. that a player bro. Ooh. Uh his name's Mad Bishop. Bro, he runs thirteen K. We play the game on Monday, he runs thirteen K. Yeah, 259. Unbelievable. So I had that first. Then we had to go and do, me and T had to go and do a, a training session straight yeah. after. Bro, I, I was there. He and me and him went to for lunch after. I was just there like this. <laughs> Bro, I was finished. And I had to go home and sleep. And then uh, for that first week, I think most days I was going to sleep after. Yeah. Because, uh, bro, it's hard to adjust, man. It's, I, I can imagine, man, but... The thing about Brentford, though, that I do want to touch on as well, is there's this real, there's something very community-ish about Brentford. Like, it's it's so local. Even though they're in the Prem, you just always have that thing about them where, you know, their fans are really, mm-hmm. they, like, they, they probably walk to mm-hmm. the ground. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? And, and what is it about that club that makes it so, you know, tight-knit? And I just think... Every from players to staff to supporters, everyone everyone's come from I would just say nothing. Like you, we've not got um players that are coming from the top yeah. coming to us to try get back up to the top. We've got players that are come from that like Ethan come from non league, mm. Charlie Good come from non league. Ivan, obviously he was at the Premier League but dropped all the way to League Two, mm. worked his way up. I've come from League One played in the conference. We've got so many players that are trying to make it to the top and it's the same, bro. Brentford were, I don't know, some club in League One worked their way to the top. So, and a lot of the staff at the club have been with them since those days. So I just think you just got humble people yeah. working at the club. For, as I said, from players to staff to the owners, everyone is just, yeah, just humble, man. I think that's, that's what... Um a lot of people see and, and buy into as well. Because me, I actually like seeing, you know, Brentford. And mm-hmm. As well, it helps when the style of football is, is good as well. Like mm-hmm. if, if you know what on this Burnley... Oh, well, it's long. Yeah. You want, you want to watch us. You know what on, I'm sorry, I know you don't want to talk about, <laughs> about that Burnley... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if, you, if you know what on that, I'd be like, nah, these don't need to go. Yeah. But you look we're playing good football from champ. And now you've come up and fair play to you, you try to maintain, you know, the the same mm-hmm. quality of, of football and and it works more time and you know I remember um who was it Chris Wilder yeah said about Liverpool one time they played Liverpool and Liverpool just blew them out mm-hmm. of, out of water. And, and after the game the um the interviewer asked him what is it about Liverpool that makes them so good he said they've obviously got the quality players but they do the basics really well. Mm-hmm. You know, they outrun you, they yeah. pick up the seconds and whatever. And when I see Brentford play, yes, you lot have your systems and, you know, whatever, but more than anything, you guys work. Mm-hmm. How important is that in regards to how much do they drill into you? Like, you need to run and that pressure and run for you. Because you see it on the pitch. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that just a thing that comes from just being close knit or is that a thing that, no, they drill into you? Drill into us, bro. Like, the three things. The man just said, at the start, he said he wants. Mm. Um, the f- 
we need to be defensively strong. Mm-hmm. We need to be the hardest working team. Mm-hmm. And we um and we want to be the best set piece team. Yeah. Those three things he said is a must. Mm. So far this season, the only team that I run us is Leeds. And I think Leeds only do that because of this, the way they actually play. I've actually got Leeds in my notes, funny enough. But go on. Like they only they're on the man marketing, so they're just everywhere. But yeah. every game Again, every game this season that we've played so far, we've outworked the team. The only game we didn't was Leeds. Mm. So was it? that's two two, right? Yeah. Bamford lost. Bamford last, last minute, yeah. Injured himself. But um <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, so that's the only <laughs> That is so shady, man. <laughs> bro, I, that's what I'm, I'm hearing. He injured himself from the celebration, so but um yeah. So I think once you're if you work hard you, you see um, everything else comes easier. I think you'll be defensively stronger and you'll still have the energy to go and attack and, and create. But yeah, man, they just, that's one of the things, even when you sign, that's one of the things they, they sell you. They you need to be able to work hard and, yeah. and run, basically. I think that's the, that's the bare minimum. You know, me, like me as a player, like I'm, I'm always there for man. MK run man down. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you know that whole run man down. Yeah. Like, bare minimum, you've got to run. Bare minimum. So when I see that, I don't mean run aimlessly because yeah. in this country they got this thing about yeah, just yeah, running. We all know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, we all know. But you have to run for your teammates mm-hmm. and and do it properly. And I see that with you, like, and it does give you guys a chance to to stay in the game That's as well. Cool. So you know, a lot of teams you're going to come up against. The only way you're going to get results is by having to at least do the basics better. Great example. I'm not going to lie to you. I was watching that Villa game. Mm-hmm. That first half, I was thinking, you lot might get turned over here. Oh, you looking beat still. You lot might get turned over. And, you know, after their first goal, they, they started, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, they, they started doing a bit. And then, obviously, your striker scored, um, Wissa. Yeah. Good goal. Though. Good finish. Good finish. But you know what I like most about that goal? Touch. That first touch. Oh, Whoa. set up everything. Bro, set up everything. Stupid, bro. stupid first touch. And then, but if you guys didn't stay in the game, at least compete and whatever, you wouldn't have got that result. Exactly. And then second half, oh, you got the assist, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they didn't give it to me, but oh, they didn't give it to no, you. Oh, because no, because he's, he's shot and then yeah, come back out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, that's that's happened, and you guys get the victory. And to see you lot celebrate, okay, I got I got something because okay. I see this in the Premier League a lot. What's with the hitting man's head thing? <laughs> Um, you got one player called Simon Goddess, yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah, Every time we score a last minute winner or we score the winner and he's on the pitch, yeah. bro, <laughs> he just comes around slapping everyone. So I don't know where it is, bro. I don't know, like, I don't know if it's, I don't know, they do that back where they're from, but yeah. bro, they just love a slap on the head. I don't actually know. I can't, I can't tell you. I don't know. Sometimes I'm seeing man just... Bro, slapping man. And it's hard, you know. <laughs> man, are, like, man are getting concussion from... Bro, <laughs> it's crazy. But bro, I don't know, man. Just the emotion, innit? Yeah. Um. Did you see, obviously last week, Man City played Arsenal, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you've seen on TalkSport. Yeah, man, I was watching that this morning. They were talking about Simon Jordan. Yeah, Simon Jordan watching. and... Um, Danny Mills. No, not, not Danny Mills. Danny Murphy. Danny Murphy. Yeah. Danny Murphy were talking about Rodri taking it too far and mm-hmm. celebrating in front of the... And uh, he shouldn't do it and it's dangerous and it's ridiculous. But Danny Murphy's just like, bro, if you've never scored a goal, you will not understand. Then you just black out and you just... Get me. And I'm seeing in the comments, the, the, the common theme was a load of... Um, Players mm-hmm. all agreeing mm-hmm. with Danny Murphy, and you get other people like, yeah, no, 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 best way yeah, yeah. I've ever played, and yeah, of course. Like but you like speak on what it's like, especially in the. I can say this now because truth say we've got a Premier League goal scorer here, mm-hmm. which doesn't happen. Yeah, yes. time, you get me. But what is it like that first moment when you score that goal, Premier League, and the fans are back now? So, well, you play football yourself. You understand once a goal goes in. Especially if it's a big goal, mm. you think you, you're caring about the fans or or what's around you. You're just going to mm. celebrate, bro. And Danny Murphy said a good thing. When I scored against Leeds, um, you went that way, and then yeah, but mm. our fans were all the way 
down the other side of the yeah. state uh, of the stadium. You think I'm gonna turn around, run all the way down the yeah. other side um, to celebrate them? Of course, I would want to celebrate them, yeah. but bro, it's emotion. You're just there. You're going to run to the corner to celebrate with your with your players. Of course, I understand for dream you need slide in front of them, but bro, that's a game, man. You, you see it what? all the time. When I take the emotion out of it, because obviously I support Arsenal. When I take the emotion out of it, I'm like, bro, I I get it. That match, they were up against it. I heard in the tunnel as well, it's all going off and it was a tense match. You score a last minute winner. I, I understand it, innit? But I don't know what I don't know what they expected. And the amount of players when they just even if it's a it's five minutes into the game, it's a one 0 you see the players do that yeah. or do that. It's a, I think it's exactly the same. It's only different because it was in the last minute and you know, it's you need sliding in that but but I don't see any anything wrong with it. What is it about Leeds fans that people love to? Because um, obviously you played yeah. against Leeds, scored your goal, mm-hmm. congrats! And um, you. you know, there's something about Leeds fans that people just route. They just people just rile them up. Like, do, do you understand it after playing against them? To be fair, what I think one thing I would say about it, they they got good fans. Like that stadium was was jumping to be mm. fair. They their support is. It's crazy, but I don't know, man. I I don't know why people say it because I don't think their fans did anything different than mm. what any other fans do, innit? Yeah. Um, maybe a bit louder, but I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm not sure. Cause they they always they have this thing that no one likes them. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. At least, at least no one likes them. They're very passionate. I remember one time I tweeted something. And it was on to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, t- I tweeted. No, no. I I tweeted like my, one of my podcasts. Yeah, yeah. I forgot who the guest was, but I had a guest on and he said something about Leeds. But it wasn't nothing, nothing mm-hmm, major. Mm-hmm. So I hashtag LUFC yeah. just to get the views. Yeah, yeah. Bruh, I had Leeds fans in the comments like, if it's not anything to do with Leeds, any, like, don't use the hashtag. Bruh. Blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, bruh. Like, are you not so... Hey, die hearts, man. Yeah, man. Like, relax. Man. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But big up Leeds anyway. Yeah, big, 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 big them up, man. Big them up. Big them up. But Thomas Frank, I do want to have a word about him. He's got this whole, I don't know how to take him. He's got this demeanour of like he's calm, but at the same time, he looks like he'll, he'll, lose, his, he'll lose it at the same time, isn't it? So what's he been like for you? What's his, his whole energy like? What's his management style like? Like everything. Because I, I did see you say that he was a big help for you mm-hmm. in your injury. Like, yeah, so, man. For me yeah, personally, cool. like he's just, he, he's been huge, man, because... Obviously, it's always good when a manager likes you in it. Um, mm. I think foremost, that's the first thing that you need for a manager them to to like how you play and like your style, and he does that. And you know, he just kind of just fed me confidence. You know, and just mm. he always used to say to me, "I can't wait to you back. Um, I want to see you back on that pitch. I want to see you playing. I want to see you with the shirt on." So that always just gave me confidence in my injury. And then when I was did come up, was playing. But he just always wanted the best for me and he's always shown me love and and always like wanted me to play because like even when our our last preseason game I got injured against West Ham in the preseason game two weeks before the first game and a week before it he came up to me and said um, if you didn't get injured you would have started that first game against Arsenal, Arsenal. Um, and yeah man he's just been that huge help develop me as a player mm. and just going forward he is gonna be huge for me in it um but as a, a managing star he's kind of, he's got laid back man like i ain't really ever seen him lose it oh really like that nah he's he, i feel like them quiet ones on the sidelines when nah, they're, going, they're, nah, they're tearing their nah, their nah, 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 man. because i think i feel as though like when you get to the, especially when you get to the top it's players know like that's the one thing i hated about Non-league. Lower leagues yeah. and non league, bro. It's man, I'm a, man, I'm shouting, but bro, man knows that man's playing shit, bro. Like, you don't need to tell me and shout, like, be here and shout yeah, in my yeah, face. Don't yeah. get me wrong, sometimes it's needed, like, because it gets people going. Yeah. But the way they do it at the lower levels, bro, is too much, man. But, <laughs> um, yeah, man, he's he's just a calm, calm brother. Um, like just good guy, you know. Like Scandinavians, they're just they're just mm. nice people in it. He's from Denmark. Yeah, mm. and they're just he's just good. My manager, mm. um, like he knows the game. 
proper worm, man. Yeah. Like tactics. Anyone ask anyone, you know, mm. tactically, he's he's there. So he's and I think the biggest thing that he does have as well is that anyone that works for him, they kinda wanna play for a minute. Mm. And I think that is another thing that is why we're so good as well, because you see with a lot of clubs, sometimes the, the players ain't want to play for the manager and mm. results ain't going, no, ain't going. And then a new manager comes in and, I don't know, the, the team is unbeatable. So just having that that factor by yourself is, is always helpful, isn't it? Do you think that's why as well, when you look at his recent record with some of the players that have gone on, like they've actually gone on and actually mm. done well. So you spoke about Saeed, Saeed. you spoke about... So Oli, Oli, spoke to Oli yesterday. Funny enough, oh, no. yeah, spoke to, he was on this podcast as well. Um, yeah, wait, Oli, number one. When you played with him from the beginning, because mm-hmm. I, I, this is this is just me. I yeah. get the impression that from the beginning, I don't think people expect him to do well, but I don't think people expect him to do that well. Mm-hmm. Was that was it almost like by surprise just how well he did? Nah, like you see, you see the thing with Oli. He has everything to be a top, a top striker. Yeah. Um, can can run in behind, can hold the ball up, can finish, technically sound, can head up. I don't think there's not... He might not be great at all of them, but I don't think there's, as a striker, there's nothing that he can't yeah. do or what you'd want in a in a striker. I don't think people give him the credit for just how well he's holding That's what players. I'm saying, man. Mm. Like, and all round, he's a, he's a good striker, man. And you just... I knew... He would go and do well if he got chances. Mm. He was gonna. He was always gonna. He was always gonna score goals. Yeah. So you're not surprised when you see him playing for. No, nah, man. Like and doing well. No, nah, bro. He's mm. a, he's a good striker, man. You just see what he does for that team, and you will see that. And I think obviously being with him every day and playing with him, you you kind of with anything you you see them. Mm. Obviously, you guys just see them for parts, and I'm yeah. seeing him every day, so it's kind of like you know what what a man can mm. what a man can do so nah it wasn't surprising man cool guy as well man yeah man good good guy yeah, like cool he's just guy. chilled yeah does his thing man how much of a joke is Ben Rama see the shoot there yeah. <laughs> oh wait like them guys there they just they just ban ball like mm. it's nothing nothing no no like stress no nothing they just go on the field and literally just bang ball and just like some of the megs he was getting when I joined there, crazy bro. Yeah. To be fair, he got one on me, but we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> but he's just a, a big ball and I feel as though he is I think David Moyes rates him and, and likes him and stuff, but I think he could kick it up kick it up a bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think he still has more to get. He, he, to be fair, he's had a, a six season doing good numbers and that, but I think he has He's got more to give. I feel like, obviously, I don't know anything, but when I watch him play and I compare it to, obviously, it's championship. Mm-hmm. But if there's one thing I know that it doesn't matter what league you're playing in, that he'll do, it's, do you see that one-on-one thing? But for me, I feel like the Premier League, from what from what I've seen, has a way of not stifling that, but it's more about, you know, this, it's more intricate in regards to this is what you need to do when mm. you're in this position. You do it there, set it back to him, or whatever in mm. it that it kind of takes away. So it's it's almost like he's playing with him, yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But I, I do actually think that he can actually go. Uh, yeah, kick it up. but I think you see with what you just said there, I feel that the Prem does that because in the champ or League One or, or whatever, let's say you got a winger and you know, he tries a skill, boom, 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 they break on the counter attack. Probably won't. They? Realistically, they're not going to score. But yeah. in a Prem. Yeah. probably they're going to score or they're going to create a big chance and you're going to look at that player like, why did you just lose a ball in it? So I think as a player, you kind of like, you, until you're, because everyone knows, when, you see when you're having that season or you're playing at the top of your game, mm. anything you do is going to work. Yeah. But when you're not there yet, you're finding your feet sometimes, and... you know, you might just do a thing and it doesn't come off and they go and break and stuff. So I kind of just think, until you get to that point, there's a little, as you said, you just hold back a, mm. a little bit. But I think it's just about, it's, just, it's all in the mind, isn't it? Once you break those shackles, bro, mm. and you, you go on and you're flourish, man. How far do you think you are from that point? Because 
I felt with you as well at the beginning of the season, you were kind of just finding fit. Mm-hmm. But obviously, he's come back from injury. Mm-hmm. But now, I feel like when I when I watch Brentford play, there's there's a sense of responsibility that you mm-hmm. actually have in that team now. That's that's just from the outside yeah. looking in. Whereas before, you'd come in, do your bit and whatever. But mm-hmm. I actually feel like it was it was a, it was actually a surprise to see you not start. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, but it's one of them ones where you're not starting, but I knew for a fact you would come on. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. Do you, do you actually feel that way as well, like that you're getting into your strength? Yeah, man. Like it's just that's what I'm saying. It, it just feels different once you're playing consistently and mm. you know, starting a couple of games, and you kind of, as you said, get that get a bit of responsibility, and mm. you know, people expect more from from you, and it obviously. I'm just trying to play consistently, play a lot of games without getting injured. And yeah. That's my main focus. And the more I do that, the more I'll grow as a player because like in my short career, the amount of football I've missed out on is is crazy. Like I think I've I'm twenty three years old, gonna be twenty four in April. I think I've probably only played I think under fifty professional games but you've done well though as yeah i've done well to for to be where i am but it's like people my age are playing 150 100 100 plus games in it yeah and i think games is where you develop and where you learn about yourself and where you really can take your your strides in in your career in it so for me it's just about that but i am feeling more confident i'm feeling that Mm. you know i'm a, a bigger part of a team than just a player that's on the bench and to come off and yeah. I'm really starting games and stuff. So, yeah, man. So, obviously, you had to deal with the whole coming back from injury, getting fit and whatever. But you also just have to get used to the intensity of the mm-hmm. Premier League. Mm-hmm. What is the intensity like in, in the Prem? Well, the intensity, crazy. Like, you see that game against Leeds? Yeah. The first 25 minutes... But when I tell you I was finished, <laughs> I was, energy was on low, yeah. bro. That was, that, I don't know why that game, but that game was so hectic and so quick. But every game, man, the first 25 minutes is, is tough. And because we're not, obviously, I feel as though because we're a smaller team, teams come a bit harder on us and mm. they're onto you because they think, ah, oh, he's not just come up from time you're probably not that great you can if you get uh, if you put a bit of pressure on him he's probably going to give you the ball yeah but the intensity is high man it's real high and that's why bro you have to be fit yeah you, you can't be uh 50% fit you can't be 75 you got to be 100% fit yeah, you could probably get going into at lower leagues, yeah, yeah at the lower leagues but in this league bro well, and especially cuz you're a lesser side as well mm. you've got to you've got to be able to handle the, the intensity, the pressure, the everything. Yeah. But it's it's high, man. Yeah. So it's high in general in the Premier yeah. League. But then when you talk about the Man Cities and that, it just, is that just, you can't explain? Oh, well, different level, man. Did Chelsea, like we played Chelsea, and even when we played Man U in pre season. Mm. Oh, he's got that, that nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just take up to another step because it's like, it's the quick stuff and it's it's the speed of football. Yeah, right? they will play one in, but he already knows that his touch is gonna to be good enough to give it to the next man and yeah. and all these different things, bro. So you gotta constantly be be thinking. I think that's a big thing as well. Like emotionally and the mind mm. most games it takes a a lot in it. So add that to now doing twelve K it's bro, it's crazy. But you must be super fit though right now. Oh, I'm I'm feeling good. Like I said, bro, like I think I might be the fittest that I've been mm. in my life. Like, and that's what I'm saying. Just games, games give you that because the first game I played, I think the first game I started, I think I got cramped at like 55, 60 minutes. Mm. Now, you know, I'm able to play 90 minutes comfortably and, and feel good. So, it's just that time you need to to get used to used to intensity on it. I love that. Long may it continue, man. No, nah, thank you, bro. You know, it's not. You know, you, you mentioned you've played what just around, around about fifty games, mm-hmm. and you're in the prem, coming from the lower league. So, you know, oh, psh, that's no mean feat. And now that you've gone to the prem, 
what's the perception like that people have of you all of a sudden that you know you're in the Premier League? Is it a thing of no, Shandon's gone now? Like, are, are the calls more and whatnot? Mm. Keep talking, just get some tissue. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, not really to be fair, but I think it's luckily I've got I've got my family, the people, the friends I have, they everyone. Everyone understands the game. Everyone understands everything, can it? Like, but I think it's the outside and it's outside people. Mm. And like, sometimes, um, I think my girlfriend would tell me, and just like, they just expect that like, you're doing, you're living this mad, mad lifestyle and you got this much money mm. and and you're doing this and life I mean, is. Everyone, for those watching, I saw his whip. He put up in a riff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, big boy thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they did pull up in a riff. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, they just they just expect they just think it's this last. But I can't lie, I I I don't really mind it because it's like when I was younger, mm. or I thought when you're in the Premier League, you know, life is 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 sweet. Don't get me wrong, my life is good. You know, mm. I'm all good. But you thought that every player in the Premier League. On a hundred grand a week, you know, yeah. you're no one's working in your family, you boom, boom, this and that, but mm. that's not the reality of things. But yeah, as I said, um, I think it, the main thing now is just everyone wants a, a shirt and everyone wants tickets to games. I want a shirt, by the way, it's here for you. Well, no I problem. No, I need another one, though. okay? What one to wear, yeah? No, 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 one one's actually because basically, I'm, I'm collecting um shirts for everyone that's been on the podcast, okay. So I've got some good shirts. Okay. Harvey yeah, Elliott, yeah, yeah. Oh, Andy nice, Cole. You know, Ooh, crazy. Really, crazy. Yeah. But now I'm going to do a giveaway as well. Okay, for, nice. for yeah, yeah, no problem. So, um, um, yeah. But yeah, and everyone just wants tickets. When we was playing Wickham away, no I didn't get no <laughs> shout. I didn't get no calls. No one wanted tickets. But now we're playing, I know, main night at home. Mm. Everyone wants a ticket in it. But, hey, it's, it's, I can't get everyone tickets. So What's the tickets? Um, I was about to say you can't get that. Like, how many do you... Yeah. So they give us, so you get four in a lounge and then four normal, oh, okay, normal tickets. So I think at some clubs it's a bit, a bit different. Probably at not even at the top clubs, but even maybe let's say the Everton's, Leicester's, and stuff. You might get a little bit more, but I think they try to just get a, a right mix of given players. Because if each player had their choice, they'll probably get twenty tickets a game. And yeah, it, yeah. But you got to give that that right balance between. Yeah giving us enough but then obviously allowing mm. all the fans and stuff because it's it's an occasion for for everyone and you know without them we wouldn't be where we are in it so yeah. okay cool Brentford's this season now when you lot come up we're going to talk about current football stuff mm. by the way but um, when you lot come up obviously everyone just assumes that your thing is to just survive but within the camp is it a thing of we're not just going to survive we're not just gonna, you know, make it by the skin of our teeth, but we're actually gonna aim for like a mid table thing. Like, what are the the goals of the team, and also your individual goals? Well, it's to finish as high as po- highest as possible. Like, don't get me wrong. If we <laughs> if we come sixteenth by one by our goal difference being one goal better than the person seventeenth. Mm. Well, everyone will be happy, yeah, but job done. we want to achieve more than that, man. We think we we can achieve more than that as well. So our our goal is to is to um to finish as high as possible. Mm. And just personal goals is just play as many games as I can, man. It's Premier League is is different, man. And if I uh, someone said to me when you get there, what do you want to do? Just said, yeah, play as many games. As possible because I played with a lot of people that that never mm. even got to this mm. this level. So yeah, just playing as many many games as possible. Okay, cool. I think you, you know, if you're injury free, I can see you. Yeah, man. Like you look like a mainstay in that team, but you look like you look actually have a good team, man. It's crazy because, like you said, you don't have um like a an a standout mm-hmm, mm-hmm. player that you've gone and bought mm-hmm. for thirty. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, whatever. man. Like, one of my Favorite players on your team is actually Milgard. Yeah, Bola. Oh my Bola. gosh, bro. Bola. Bola. And he will go under the radar yeah. in regards to mm-hmm. how good he is mm-hmm. because he doesn't do anything extravagant yeah, and whatever, but he's tidy in there. Tidy and consistent. Mm. And you, I don't think you can beat 
those two things. Mm. If you've got a tidy player and he's consistently giving you a seven or eight each game, mm-hmm. that's a manager's dream. Yeah. Because you know what you're gonna get what you're gonna get from him. Yeah. So but a big baller, man. Yeah, hundred percent. Those seven out of ten players it's funny because I'm releasing something on my channel mm-hmm. today or tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. But um I personally because when when everyone talks about that right backs yeah. and everything. You know, they talk about the Trents, they talk about Rhys James, and who's the other one they might talk about? I don't know. But yeah, right backs, they just talk about. Cancelo. Oh, Cancelo, yeah. yeah. But. I'm, yeah, I can't walk. I'm one of those that's like, you see, if a man does his job consistently well, yeah, and especially as a fullback, defends first. I'm one of them, man, that's just like, if you, like Trent. Love it, mm-hmm. outrageous mm-hmm. going forward, crossing. He banged that goal from thirty yards yeah, the other yeah, day, yeah. crazy. But defensively, I wouldn't say he's the best. Mm-hmm. That's not. But I always have to put disclaimers there. That's not me saying he's not a good player. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, cool. But I'm gonna throw this name in there, yeah. Can, bro. Uh, if it's if I'm being bad. biased, if I'm being biased, no, bro, please don't. No, can, no. Can. If I'm being biased, there'd be no. Right. I'm not saying. Yeah, this guy is better than mm-hmm. any of these. Mm-hmm. In fact, he's not. Mm-hmm. But when you talk about consistency and when you talk about players doing their job mm-hmm. and being reliable, when we talk about right back shit, yeah. should we not put Tommy Yasu in that conversation? <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being biased, let me know oh. I'm being biased, isn't it? I've not seen this guy have, apart from Liverpool. He looks a bit shaky against Liverpool, but I've not seen him have one bad game. Don't get me wrong. He's, he's what is good, it that you need to see for? for no, nah, he's a good player. Don't don't get me wrong. I think when you for, talk about right backs nowadays, you I can't lie. You don't even talk about defending still. You Bro, just, you still talk about these men um, attacking and what they do. So it's not. Um, I think if you said that to the to the world, mm, it's mad. Man, they're onto you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's yeah bad, they're it's not bad. having it, <laughs> but. Bro, I'm saying it's you as you, a player. Yeah, no, but if you understand football and just take away. Just take away the facts on what these other players have done. Mm. Oh, he can be in there, man. He's a good player, solid player. He's, as you said, he's not had a bad game since he's mm. he's joined Arsenal. So why can't he? Yeah, he can't be in. That's why when man them get onto Aaron Wan-Bissaka, I don't get onto him because bro, I don't get onto him. Put any winger against him right now, they're not having a good game. Mm. He's locking every single one of them down. Okay, going forward. Is he going to give you anything? Probably not. But what he is doing is that left winger, and most most of the time, if you have wingers, the left winger is probably your main, mm. the main guy that is going to do something. He ain't doing nothing. So mm. I suppose what I want from my my right back, of course, if I can have the Trents and that, but then the other side of the game is defensively, they're not giving you anything either. So it's which one do you do you want in it? I'm so happy you're saying this, you know, because when I say it, because I ain't got the, the Premier League badge on my mm-hmm. on my thing, people people don't don't listen and and we're in a time now that when you talk to fans and whatever, it's either like he's rubbish, he's world class. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's no there's no conversation. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So if I say Trent is one of the best, it's because he's one of the best. Mm-hmm. But then if I also say that he could and anything I say about Trent or Reese James or whoever. It's not gospel, and they probably know it themselves anyway. They probably, of course, they probably of course, harden, yeah. harden yeah, themselves. Course. Do you get what I'm saying? So, I, I, I just think now when it comes to, and I love football, you know, but I really struggle to have conversations with people, mm-hmm. and I don't know everything. But mm-hmm. if you're gonna come with an opinion, a lot of people are using this whole stats thing. Yeah, they don't, they're not really watching football. Mm-hmm. But if you're gonna come at me with that, I'm not gonna be able to have the conversation. Yeah, I know, man. So I've said to you now, Tommy Yasu, and you've said to me. Uh, you get it mm-hmm. because if Tommy Yasu is on Brent in Brentford's team, you would appreciate. Yeah, him. yeah, exactly. exactly. You'd, you'd appreciate yeah, him yeah, a lot. Yeah. If Wan Bissaka is on your team, especially you know coming up against like the Man City's or of whatever, course, where you're going to be up against it, you're going to want mm-hmm. him in your team, innit? So I don't cuss Wan Bissaka either. Mm-hmm. But then again, I find it hard to cuss players in general. Yeah, because I understand what it takes. Yeah, to, yeah, same. To, to, yeah. I understand what yeah. it takes to be there. So mm-hmm. you're not going to see me say, "No, nah, this player's rubbish." Yeah. When I'm watching football in the heat at the moment, I'm like, no, nah, I'm not having Yeah, it. of course. I'm not That's anything, it. though. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I, I remember I was watching 
Norwich versus Arsenal. So I'm not having Gilmore. Yeah. But I'm watching the game as a fan. Mm-hmm. But when I come away from it, no, the, the guys are the guys are good baller. player. That's what I'm he's, saying. He's, bro. he's a he's a baller. Do you, know, do you know what I'm saying? So, do you find it hard as well to talk to people about football who aren't in the actual game? Yeah, because you know it's, it just gets a bit. Like, okay. Yeah, it gets a bit. It gets a bit technical after a little while. But I think the one thing I just leave it to is adding that everyone can have their own opinion in it. Mm. Like, it's one of them things. After a while, you're just going around in a circle because yeah. you're not. Are you going to change your opinion? No. Mm. You're just going to say your thing. They're going to say theirs and it's going to be that. But yeah, that's why I only really have football conversations with my cousins or my brother. Mm. That's it, shit. Or other man that bang yeah, yeah. Other mm. than that, I'm not talking <laughs> football with no one else that doesn't understand mm. football because they're just going to say some mad points and it's going to get me angry. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's mad. It's mad. But the whole stats thing, that's actually quite important for you. Like, that's not the be on it and end all, but for you, you probably need stats. Bro, like, any football, you need stats, man. Mm. It's it's a few it's a few players that will get away with not doing numbers, mm. but in this day and age, you need stats. Jude Bellingham said the other day, obviously, mm. people are too focused on the stats. Just watch the just watch the game, and I'm I'm like that. I'm like just watch the game of football mm-hmm. it's like I think I don't really want to bring up but it's like the Messi and Ronaldo debate mm-hmm. I always say Messi because if you just watch the game of football mm-hmm. I think you could just see that Messi is just epitomises the game if that makes sense like technically sound can pass can shoot can do all these mm-hmm. things isn't it? and he's just yeah all around top top player but man these stats bro you need goals yeah, you yeah. need assists mm. you need key passes mm. like if because a lot of scouts sometimes are not at games and they, they're not going to read through they're not going to see that yeah. you know what I know you you megged my man mm. and did and sprayed it out wide but that person but that person get will whip it in yeah. they score but you're not going to get the credit for doing the hard work my, my man's going to get the credit because he got the assist in it. So, you need stats, man. Yeah, no, 100%. But hopefully, you know, we come back to a, a space where, you know, people actually start watching games more mm-hmm. and more. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll never forget Jorginho's first season. And I love Jorginho. Mm-hmm. That's another thing. People, you know what? Yeah, if we him. go back on this podcast and, and hear some of my takes. Yeah, 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 yeah don't him. Bro, like, yeah, I, I just never... Anyway, but Jorginho's first season... <laughs> I remember against West Ham, Chelsea against West Ham. Mm-hmm. He um, he broke the record for the most amount of passes in the first half or something so like that. Right. And then they were going, after the game, they were going so crazy about him. Mm-hmm. But I watched the game and he played rubbish. <laughs> he played rubbish in that game. Not a rubbish player, but he played rubbish in that game. I watched it. Gave the ball away however many mm-hmm. times, but because of the way he plays, because of the way Chelsea were playing, he's going to get those passes in and whatnot. And, yeah, it it just yeah that whole that whole stats. Well, you see is, it, you see it with someone said it on Twitter. He said that's how Sky Sports give the man the matches after games. They oh. see you got the best stats in the game and just give it to that person because the amount of times I'm like, hold on, how has he got man in the match when I can genuinely see my man has had a top game of he probably not scored or assisted or nothing, but I can just see that he's had a good good game and he's been the reason that they've won the game I'm trying to think they did it the other day and I tweeted I was just like how's this guy oh, exactly. got the thing but before we like start wrapping up now you said you support Man United yeah right you could talk about this as freely or not freely as you mm-hmm. want to because I understand that yeah you get me what, what it is so and you don't want to give them added motivation mm-hmm. so when they come and play you they just yeah, they on smack, smack, smack yeah. you up you know what I'm saying but um What's your take on their season now and where they're currently at? And watching, are you still able? I always wonder this, about this when mm. it comes to Prem. Are you are you able to still be a fan? I watch them because I am. I still will support them and stuff. But mm. I can't lie, bro. It does not bother me if they lose or win. Like it, it, is that because you're playing against them or nah, because? Because why I say that is because what where they are, they're not 
challenging. Of course, like if they play, if they're playing a team around us, mm. I want them to win because that helps us. But as I say, if they lose, I don't care because this it doesn't affect Brentford. Mm. Like I still, as I said, I still support them and stuff. But bro, I I switched off a long time ago as a fan. <laughs> I, I switched off a long time ago, man. Is I. To be fair, I, a lot of things in, in this life, I, for me personally, I don't find that deep. And mm. Man is one of them. I don't find it that that deep, bro. Yeah. Like, why am I raising my blood pressure <laughs> for, for these men? Yeah. Nah, it's not needed. So, but how they are at a minute, I just think they're in a stage where a lot of things probably need changing, not just on the pitch, probably at the club as well. Um, I don't know why, I don't know how many managers they've had since Alex Huggins been gone, but I don't know why every manager comes there. Yeah, Van Hal, Mourinho, Ole, and now uh, yeah, five, five, five yeah. managers. Um, I know Jose Mourinho won what, FA Cup in the Europa League. Like one Europa. Europa. He won that one. He won FA, uh, Van Gaal. Van Hal won, I think. Yeah. Van Hal, yeah. Europa but come second. I don't know I'm why second. it's not worked out, but there's got to be a because they got top players, man. Every season they have top players. But it's mad because when you played against them. Well, you is it a thing where you've played and you see and you just think, why are these men not? Oh, it was, and we see the worst thing. Jaden Sanders didn't play in that game. Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandez, Rashford, Martial, Pogba didn't play. Didn't play. Maguire, Varane, mm. bro. Their starting eleven now didn't play, and mm. the team that played, we played. I was like, wow, yeah, this is crazy. And these are their, let's say, B team. Yeah. So I honestly don't know why that team that is fielded mm. is not going against every team and smoking, guys. Well, I just think they need to bring Pogs back in. And that as well. Bring... But is that going to... No, it's not going to fix anything at all. It's not going to fix every, everything, I should say. But I saw a clip the other day of um, Ronaldo against Newcastle. And he kept making these runs, mm -hmm. and the ball was not I coming. See that. I see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah the I ball was that. not coming, and and I, and I said in response to that, I was just like, "This is why you can't get on to Ronaldo for things because number one, anyone that scores fourteen goals at the age of thirty six, you can't and in the in the Premier League, you can't get onto them. So when they're trying to make it about Ronaldo, I'm just like, you, he's scoring your goals, number one. So you just know anyone throughout the test of time, if you create a chance for Ronaldo. He scores. Facts. Okay, cool. That's that's that. But also, like, there's no one actually. When I was looking at those runs, I was like, no disrespect. You know, I understand what McTominay's in the team for. I understand what Fred's in the team for. But you need that player who's going to, you know, first time mm -hmm. round the corner. Mm -hmm. Blah 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 blah. And Pogba for me is 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 that guy. So it's little it's little things like that that's just not clicking for them. Of and, course, bro. And you know, confidence is a hell of a thing as well, man. You know, people are writing off Jaden Sancho. <laughs> it's mad. I don't, it's mad I don't understand how a man could do the numbers he did in the Bundesliga and you're now saying he's finished. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. That whole is finished. I'm going to have a little run here. That whole is finished. Thing. Someone said that at the beginning of the season. That, And I remember I don't get involved in mm -hmm. But someone said Mane was finished and I saw it come up. And I was just like, what? This at the beginning of the season. I said, why? Like, mm -hmm. why is he finished? It's, it's not even like you say Mane isn't playing well. You know to say a yeah, man yeah, finish, bro. Yeah, like, yeah like, bro. Should retire. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I'm like, what? And then, anyway, I I, I got onto that person. And then Indian has to just come out of the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then a couple of weeks back, I think about two, three weeks ago, I saw that same person, like, come and say that, oh, Mane's top quality and blah 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 blah. And I'm like, bro, it's mad, bro. Why do we, why do we flip flop? Like exactly, this, exactly. Why? It's you see, if I was on our professional bowler, mm. the amount of comments I've been on Twitter, I'd be in, <laughs> it'll be crazy because some of the things I see people say, mm. it's just like, come on, man. But I think sometimes you just say it. It must just be because it's Twitter and it's gonna get a reaction out of people. And and as you see right now, we're both talking about it. So he's probably got what that person wanted. But some of the statements are crazy. It's mad. It's crazy. Like, I don't know where they're getting their football knowledge from or what they're watching, but it's, it's not the same things we be watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's 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 nuts. But yeah, man. Very quickly as well, Lukaku. All of that stuff. 
we're not going to get into the particulars, but what's it like? Have you experienced, you know, someone saying something in the press which could, not say it did, but which could negatively affect the team? And, and how how do you think, like, the team would, would, would receive him, you know, in training and everything? Because I feel, sorry, sorry, but I feel like when we're looking at it from the media point of view, it's like, oh, my gosh, he's isolated. When really and truly, he's probably showing up to training and they're like, oh, bloody hell, that was a bit... Do you know what well, I mean? Like, what's the perception and the reality of it, it within clubs? Well, and people think football is so different to a normal job or whatever. Honestly, I personally think a couple of, my, a couple of his boys probably would have messaged like, ah, oh, you're me even mad or something. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Bro, why the hell did you say that? Mm. But it's the same way as if I don't know, one of your work colleagues said something mad to one of your managers or something. Mm. The same way you would just probably message them or ring them and just say like, wow, why do you say that? Whatever. Mm. It's not that different. Like when they say, yeah, you know, it's going to affect the squad and stuff. Mm. I personally don't think why Lukaku saying that is going to affect my performance on yeah. Saturday mm. because that's his problem. That ain't mine. Um, but I don't know, man. Like sometimes, but in interviews, I think, the emotion can just get over you, you know. Sometimes you kind of forget that the camera's there and you're just speaking your mind, isn't it? Mm. But yeah, I don't think the way they be saying, yeah, this is gonna affect the squad and he was out of the squad because of this and that. Bro, mm. obviously, I think you know why he's out of the squad because he's yeah, just yeah. 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 <laughs> but in terms of if they was to say like Chelsea lost because of Lukaku said them comments, I'd be like, come on, bro, yeah, come on, man. It's it's nowhere near that. As I said him saying that should not affect anything. And he would have went in that next day after having that interview. And I don't think anyone would have bad the eyelid. Probably the captain went up to him and been like, well, right, Lukaku, like, come on, but you got to know what to do and what to do. And he probably would have had a meeting with the manager. But after that, we would have been squashed and he's training, he's in training, scoring goals and having fun again. So, yeah. I mean, he's already in contention to play today already. That's so. what I'm saying. He probably will play and score and mm. probably win them the games. So. And, you know, if he scores in that five games on the bounce, <laughs> people are just going to forget about it. All of Two games on the bounce, they'll forget yeah, about it. Yeah, that's, so that's it. it's that quick, man. Mm. How um, how sensitive is, is the whole COVID stuff right now? Because obviously you're getting games called off, you know. For anyone looking, I took a test before. Yeah, and I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I took I'm a passed. test, negative. Get me? So, um, like, is it very sensitive right now? Like, you have to watch where you're going. You have to do all of that. And do you know what I mean? It's just... And there's a, a there's a big hoo, hoo-ha about players getting vaccinated. I'm not going to ask you if you're vaccinated mm-hmm. or whatever. But do you feel like as well that there's maybe pressure within clubs to maybe get vaccinated? And, you know, because you are a professional footballer, regardless of how you feel. Not saying it particularly for mm-hmm. you and Brentford, mm-hmm. but just in general? I think so, because I don't know, I don't know why footballers are always the people that you get used as... Examples, yeah. Yeah, examples. Um, like, it doesn't make any sense because I know we're in the, the spotlight, but we're just normal people as well. Mm-hmm. But I think so. I think they, they kind of use us, but I think it's in, the, it's in the world as well. They want everyone to be mm-hmm. vaccinated, not just not just footballers in it. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's crazy right now. Like we get tested every single day. Um, it's, you can't do certain things. You mm. can't um, stay in places too long. Like we can't, we can't even eat in our canteen. We have to eat, we have like an outside marquee thing. Oh, they've gone back to that now? Yeah, you have to eat in that. Well, that's us personally. Mm. We have to eat in that. Um, like meetings can't be longer than 15 minutes. Like, it's, it's crazy right now, mm. but when you're getting probably when you are getting the the numbers that we were that we was personally getting, yeah, it, those those precautions probably need to be yeah. taken in it. But yeah, right now, can't lie, the COVID thing is crazy. Mm. Like, I, was there any point where you were scared like they're gonna shut this thing off? Nah, not really. Just because I think football. Not that football's exempt, but I think football gives people something, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. And as you saw in the first lockdown, when we we first come back, a, a lot of why they allowed football to be on was to give 
the people something. Oh, listen. So, so what? You, you, you all know how German boring it was. Yeah, hey, bro. the German games. That's what yeah. I'm saying. And it, like, no offense to the Bundesliga, but it weren't all that. Bro. I was only hoping for Borussia Dortmund versus Bayern Munich. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I think so. So I think so, um, that, yeah, man, I don't, I don't ever think that it was going to ever get called off. I just Ooh. like, it was just getting a bit long because a lot of games were getting called off in it. Yeah. So it was like, like we didn't, when we played Chelsea, we, we hadn't played for like 11 days. Mm. And like going into Chelsea, playing as someone, playing maybe a team around us might have been okay, but well, I was, I was tired as hell. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, from not playing for so long, innit? So, but yeah, COVID's crazy right now. Ah, cool. And, and, and the last thing, in fact, I've got like 10 questions for you, but anyway, the last thing is, um, have you learned your lesson from your sending off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, sending offs, they're not happening no more. Red cards, yeah, I'm done. Like, yellows only. I haven't got a yellow card in, like, the last six games. So, yeah, we'll finish with that one. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Do you, um, because obviously your, um, your Instagram, uh, anyone can comment on yours, right? Mm -hmm, mm. But you don't really get that. Like, no. It's funny because you're a Premier League footballer, yeah? But when I look, apart from bar maybe Ivan Tony. Like the Brentford Insta, like it's 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 proper on brand with you know you yeah, not still yeah. local and yeah, 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 whatever yeah. like it's you don't really get any nah like we don't really get hate like that mm. um I don't know like don't start hating now <laughs> <laughs> don't start hating now but we don't really get hate like that um I don't know I honestly but I can't tell you why it's like that I think mm. we're all just just calm people man like luckily. To be fair, a lot of the a lot of the time the hate does go to the most profile player, which is Ivan, mm. because his name's always out there. And you probably get people who don't even support Brentford. That's what I'm that's saying. The go -to yeah, mm. that's a go-to. Yeah, as you said. So, but no, nah, a lot of us are just hey. But may it long continue. You know, <laughs> no one likes to to get hate. Um, mm. and normally the comments are just fans just saying like, "Well done," or "Yeah, you're a good player," and all that. So also as well, I think. You guys are in a unique, like a, a unique club where your fans actually remember where they've come from. That as well, that as well, and it just, oh, as I said from the start, everyone is just humble, man. No yeah. one's trying to be bigger than what they are. No one's trying mm. to because we're in the prem now. Be doing up flashy, flashy, and mm. doing up lifestyle. Everyone is just it's the same, man. So, I hear that, man. So yes, that was that's it. Now thank you for coming on, oh, but no problem, um, man. I got like ten. Rapid fire questions, cool. yeah. They're literally about your club yeah. and anything in general. Right, bro. Oh wait, before we start that actually, VAR, are you a fan or not a fan? I'm a fan. You're a fan when it's consistent. That's okay, it. Okay, cool. Like last week, Man City, you see that? Uh the penalty. The Arsenal one. Yeah. Both were a penalty, I think. Okay. Thank you very much. They were you heard it here. <laughs> but it's the fact that they didn't even go and check know, the first. Man. But that's bro. it's an inconsistency, that's bro. Or about it. Actually, I've got a question for you. Actually, when it comes to referees, yeah, in the prem, because you know, like in the league, you know the referees. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Even at like my level, I know the referees I'm gonna get, and you have one where you're like, oh, he's a prick. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. You have yeah. ones that's like, oh no, he's cool. Have you got like a ref that if you see him, you're less like, yeah, yeah, he's he's gonna give it. It's gonna be a fair one. Or if you see him, it's gonna be like, oh, flip. Nah, not really. To be fair, all the fact, all the rest have been all right. Like, there's not one that I think oh, you, you don't want to get fined. Nah, there's not <laughs> one that I don't um, that I don't dislike. The only thing I'll say is that, like, I think I don't know. Maybe other players not found it, but I, I think some refs are slide big time. Like, oh yeah, why yeah? It, because when like someone on the pitch, I don't be like ref. What? How long's left? And he's not trying to answer, mm. but someone else and he's answering. So I'm mm. just like. Bro, like, don't do that because you you, you get that feeling. With yeah, else, like, yeah. I don't understand how you can be big time. I know everyone. I know who you're thinking when he says that, Mike Dean. I feel like Mike Dean is big oh, time, big, bro. I don't understand how be big time though. Like, oh, man's asking you for the time. And you're like, <laughs> you have the time, bro. Like, but um, yeah, there's not one that um, yeah, I say mm. it's a prick like that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right. So the questions are. Just give any answer. Mm -hmm. Funniest at the club? I haven't told any. Actually, Rico Henry. Rico, Rico Henry. Henry, yeah. Oh, I've actually just one already. Quickest at the club? Rico Henry. Bus and Tariq? 
Yeah. I think it's rapid, you know. Yeah, retreat's quick, but we quick. And in, in, what's it, in Boma? I and in Boma, yeah. I've not seen them in a race, but I'll just say Rico. Okay, cool. Uh, most skillful player at the club? The club. Um, most skillful. I would say... Retreat. Really? How's Josh doing, by the way? Good, man. He's back soon. He's back soon? Back soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's oh, back okay, soon. Okay, cool. Man. Josh the Silver. Right, this is in general. Most underrated player in general that you've come up against or that you've watched. Or no, when do that you've come up against and then we're going to do one that you've watched that you're just a fan of. Most underrated. I th- not, he's not underrated, but I think N'Golo Kante, just because he does things that he, not, he doesn't get praise for. Mm. And like when I watched him, I'm like, bro, this guy on the ball, he's sick. fake. Mm. And mm. but he doesn't get recognized for that, so yeah, I'll say can't he? Okay, oh, that's who you played against. You played against yeah, yeah. What about in general? Is, is that still can't Yeah. Know? Okay, cool. If Brentford could sign three players, who would you pick? Not and you can't do Messi or Ronaldo. Okay, come, cool. Or Mbappe or Neymar. Cool. <laughs> three players we could. I would pick. Um. Rob Dickey. Um, really? Mm-hmm. Is that your boy? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 How cool names to pull out? You, you pull out that um, one? Who else? Uh, uh, Saka. Yes. And De Bruyne. Yeah. How good is Saka? Uh, Saka, big boiler. Fan. So I, I think, think he's another one. I don't think he, they, they, they're not recognising him for what he does yet, but mm. they soon will. I think if you're, I think if you're an Arsenal fan, you do. You, what, you, yeah, you, you recognise this guy is something special. Yeah, but other people don't. Not mm. yet. Yeah, man. I tell you, bro, he, his football brain is a joke. Um, so Rob Dickey, let's Brian keep it. Let's keep it on. Yeah. Defender, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Saka and Kevin De Bruyne. Joke, De Bruyne. Joke. All right. Top three TV shows. Top three TV shows that I've watched. Yeah. Vikings. Aye, right, six show. Six show. Yeah. Power. Nah, I'm not really on. You don't really like that. Yeah. And. There's a lot of TV shows like that, I can't even lie. Just Money Hest. I don't watch that. Yeah, you watch Money Hest. No. Watch that. And I like something called The Witcher on Netflix. I'm watching that now. Yeah, that's good, man. I'm actually watching it right yeah, now. I'm on the episode with the dragon. Is that in the first season? Yeah. I can't remember that, but it's good. Yeah, yeah I man, just I'm finished it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. Favourite pundit and where? Who do you like to listen to? Ah. Uh, I was gonna. I want to say Gary Neville and James Carragher together mm. because, actually, no. I tell a lie. Michael Richards. You like Michael Richards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he just like he just vibes, man. He's just funny. Uh. Like, and I feel as I feel as though he's uh, he gives something different yeah. that the others don't. And it. Mm. Um. So yeah, I'll say Michael Richards. I think Richards is is a good. I do love Roy Keane, though, man. Roy Keane. No, no, yeah, no, that's but, what I'm saying. I, I, even on his ones, Roy Keane is just because no, he says what he says. That was my head, man. I, no, but you know what it is. He says what he says, and he stands on it. True, true. He stands on it. True, Do you get true, what I'm saying? True, true. That's why I like Gary Neville as well. Yeah, yeah, Gary yeah, Neville yeah. Sometimes, but you know, yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna Roy, say, but Roy I feel, Keane. I feel as though I know why, but I feel as though they come in twos. If that makes sense. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. Mike and Roy, Jim Carragher and yeah. Gary Neville. Right, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, three more questions. Best goalkeeper in the league? De Bruyne. Who? De Bruyne. Bro. You know what? He's a good keeper. Outside of David Rea. That's what you okay, yeah. Outside <laughs> of David Rea, who's the best keeper in the league? Best, keep, best keeper in the league? Well, you, I suppose you say Ramsdale. I'm not, listen, I'm not saying anything. No, nah, because the, the reaction is like you wanted me to say that. I'm not saying anything, innit? I'm not saying. Bro, it's I'm okay, man. Saying. You want to say Ramsdale? 
I don't think nah. I don't think Rams is the best in the league. Nah, in the best in the league, um, I would say probably maybe Edison. Is it Edison? Like, who would you say? Because I don't think I think De Gea is still sick. But I'm, I think I'm still a De Gea man. I think he's he's just I'm, I'm still a De Gea. He's man. come back. I think he's come back on mm. form, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but I think yeah, probably Edison Allison. Uh, I think just probably edging him. Or you know maybe what? they're I think all. Allison just. I used to be an Edison over Allison guy, but I've seen mad saves that he's doing in key moments where he's not even busy. But I see a couple moments from mm. Edison where I'm just like, oh, Edison's kicking. Edison's so, kicking. I, I think, I, so to be fair, I'll probably put, uh, maybe even put them all on the same. Mm. You won't put Mendy then, huh? Oh, Mendy. Oh, Mendy is wavy, though. No, I'm not having him. You, you're not having him? No. Why? No, no, I'm, I'm having him, but not like as the top. As the keep. top? Yeah, yeah, no, no. no. Getting there, though. You yeah, 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 yeah. No, he's, he's getting He's there. taking him or he's Ramsdale. Prob- it's Ramsdale. Taking me, Ramsdale. Bro. Yeah, I'm taking, Mendy. I'm, I'm taking Rams, Ramsdale over, over me. You know what it is? I, I like to think I'm a sensible person, innit? I'm not one of those Arsenal fans. You know, Arsenal fans are annoying sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think I'm one of them, but Ramsdale's really impressed me this season, bro. Like, do you know what I'm impressed with most? I love a good, a ball's coming into the box and man just comes and mm-hmm. cleans it. Mm-hmm. And just mm-hmm. come and just catch and yeah, yeah. he's making himself. big saves and he's got presence about him as well, mm-hmm. isn't it? So, yeah, man. It's rams off me. And the last question, so far, team of the season in the Premier League? Team of the season. I would say, I actually like Ramsdale to be fair. So, I'm actually going to put him there. Some of the kick, some of his kicking this, like, this year has been... Oh, joke. some of the sidewinds. Yeah, sidewinds, oh. a joke. Yeah. Um, right back. Right back, Cancelo. Mm-hmm. Left back. Left back. Ooh. Who's been popping as a left back this season? Cancelo, they moved back to left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me move Cancelo back to left back. <laughs> move us to left back. I, st- I do still like Robertson, though. Yeah, he's been good, but I think Cancelo's been actually playing there, isn't mm. it? So... Right back. I'm going to give it to your guy, Tomasu. What? Tomiassi and Ramso, uh, the team of the season. Love I'll that. i give it to him. So far. What are we doing so far, innit? Yeah, we're doing yeah. so far. Yeah. Um, Centre-backs. I'd go Diaz. Mm. And... This is a tough one. This is your team, Sam. I'm going to some names out here. Van Dyke's been good, but like it's easy to say Van Dyke. Van Dyke, uh, Rudiger, Thiago Silva. Oh, Rudiger. Rudiger. Yeah, Rudiger. Okay. Yeah, Rudiger. Rudiger. Okay. I'm going to go Rudiger. 4 3 3 with a deep line midfielder. Um, CDM. Can't lie. No, I'm going to just say a mid 4 3. <laughs> yeah. Um, I say Conor Gallagher mm. from Crystal Palace. Um, Silva, David Silva. David Not David Silva, oh. Bernardo Silva. Oh, that's okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's Bernardo Silva. And... Are we struggling for centre mids in the league right now? I'm trying to think of someone who's been... Another... Outstanding. Mm. I think Silva's had a great season. Mm. Conor Gallagher had a great season at Palace. Palace. I'm trying to think of a top name, but. Um, what do you think of Rodri? Rodri I, was, I was thinking he's in my head. He's had a. Oh, I'll just put him in there. I'll put him in there. Rodri. Okay. Front three. Front, front three. I'm going to go Saka on the right. On the left, I'm gonna go. Oh, this is tough. My left, 
Wait, who's your actual striker though? My actual striker? Yeah. Because you're, you're, you're missing... Who? Mo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, but this is what I'm saying. Like, bro, some of these names don't even come to my head. Yeah, Mo Salah on the right, sorry. Um, Sack on the left. I put, still put Sack on the left. Mm. Up front. Who can go up front? Who's banging goals up front? Oh, yeah. Don't believe it. Just Just, oh, Dennis, is, Dennis is a player. Though. Yeah, Dennis is a player. But, uh, Watford. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a good player. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Really yeah, they're like, goals this season. It's, it's, Mo, it's right. just Mo, so, right? right now, it is not Salah, Ara, um, Jota. Second. Yeah, I was thinking Jota. Jota's I was second. thinking Jota. Oh, Jota is... Oh, netting. Dennis has eight goals, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's doing, doing his thing. thing. And Smith Rowe has eight goals. Imagine yeah, that. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, so... I'll have to put Jota in there. Jota. Okay, Second so I'm going to try and roll this off very quickly. Ramsdale, goalkeeper. Right back, Tomiyasu. Centre back, Rudiger and Diaz. Left back, Cancelo. In the midfield three, you've got Conor Gallagher, Rodri, Bernardo Silva, Saka on the left, left Mo Salah on the right, and um, up top, Diego Jota. Diego Jota. Okay, cool. Well, um, I'm going to put that team out, guys watching let me know in the comments let me know on the instagram post twitter what you lot think of that team if you want to slaughter him start giving him a bit of hate <laughs> feel free no I'm joking. <laughs> we don't get we don't get those sort of people listening but um yeah no thanks for coming on man no, and um, no problem, man. I really enjoyed all it. the best for the season again thank you this will come out on sunday yes so we're going to take a you picture i'm going to put it out on you don't need to watch it you know you're hearing it yeah true <laughs> still man. let's see what <laughs> my soul's looking at but um yeah, no. Um, who you lot? You lot play this weekend? Yeah, we. Who do we have? No, we got Port Vale in the FA Cup. Oh, okay, do you think you'll be involved in that one? I think so. I didn't. I didn't start on the away? weekend, so away. Oh, so, away. Oh, my boy plays them. Really? Do you know Leon? What's yeah. Leon Leggy? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, Leon Leggy's there. I don't know if he's still injured or what, but um, yeah. So hopefully, um, wait, who else plays with him? Oh no, he's at Bradford. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. Well, all the best. You know, are you not hoping for a good FA Cup run? Yeah, man. Oh, it's the same with the Carabao Cup. We're just trying to get as far as we can. Mm. Um, Who's got in the Carabao Cup? No, nah, well, we lost to uh, Chelsea. Oh, so, yeah, Chelsea uh, lost to... No, nah, it's today, no? Oh, no, Chelsea-Liverpool today. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say Chelsea lose to Liverpool, yeah. Any Chelsea? No, Chelsea-Tottenham. Yeah, yeah. Chelsea-Tottenham, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm all over this. So, it's Arsenal-Liverpool, Yeah, man, just oh. see how far we can go. And Is that confirmed? Yeah, confirmed. confirmed. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confirmed. Oh, okay, because I knew that I they, they had... I my bio yeah. or something. They better give them a bio, bro. They better no, give I think that they're having... Arsenal's having that away advantage. So Liverpool's going to play first. And that's uh, the serious win. That's the top. I don't know, bro. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Do we get the first... Anyway, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about it later, bro. Because I'm not really trying to <laughs> beat Liverpool twice, bro. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, all the best, man. No, and Thank um, you. Yeah, hopefully... You know, we're having this conversation again next year and you're still a Premier League player. For sure, man. I truly believe that you'll go on to to do good things. And um, Oh, one thing we didn't touch on. I don't know if you want to talk about this. If not, we can just edit this. Yeah. Grenada, you don't want to play? Um, but I, it's one of them things that, as I said to them, is I've had bare injuries in it. So mm. for me, it was just about finding myself first and just trying to, well, not finding myself, but playing. Mm consistently first yeah. I don't want to because and then the, everyone knows you know the pitches and stuff yeah. out there are not great mm. so I don't want to go there and break down and yeah. you know it's just so I said to them let me get playing first mm. get myself and then it's when I'm like that mm. I'll think about everything because yeah. I've had conversations with them so oh, okay. not like I'm just ruining them out but I, I just because online it said that he was yeah, but he's holding up for England corner. yeah nah online I don't even know where that article even. Yeah. Oh, so that was like an article that. But came. Yeah. um, is yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But yeah, guys, keep liking, subscribing, sharing. This is just one of many for the year, and um, you know, yeah, get us. That's out. Yeah. We're out. <laughs>